active screen questions are used to assess your ability to configure a complex dialog box. You can use the split bar to resize the panes. You can also use the scroll bar to see the entire dialog box. After you read the question, you can make your selections in the dialog box. You can reverse a selection that you've made by clicking it again or you can clear all your selections by clicking Reset. Build list and reorder questions assess whether you can identify and properly order the necessary steps in a procedure. On the left side are the action objects which you are tasked to select and move into the answer area. You can drag the objects or you can use the arrow keys to move objects. If you want to remove your selection from the answer area, use the back arrow key or drag the selection back into the action list. To reorder your answer, select the up and down arrows or drag your selection to the desired location in the list. A case study is designed to test whether you can solve real-world business problems. Each case study on an exam has multiple questions associated with the business case. To begin a case study, read the overview screen. This screen provides information about the number of questions in the case study and tells you how many total questions there are on the exam. Case studies are not timed separately from the total exam time. You can use this information to manage your time. To display the first question in a case study, click Next from the overview screen. Use the buttons in the left pane to explore the content of the case study before you answer the questions. Clicking these buttons displays information such as business requirements, existing environment, and problem statements. When you are ready to answer a question, click the Question button to return to the question. At the end of this case study, a review screen will appear. This screen allows you to review your answers and to make changes before you move to the next section of the exam. After you begin a new section, you cannot return to this section. Create a Tree items provide a way for you to create a tree structure to display your knowledge of organizational structures and relationships. To answer a Create a Tree question, drag objects from the choice list to the tree area. The tree area might or might not already have some tree sources displayed. Drag and drop questions provide a way for you to demonstrate your ability to connect items correctly. You can use the split bar to resize the panes. To answer a drag and drop question, you will need to select and drag items from the source area on the left of the screen to the correct target in the answer area on the right of the screen. You can reverse your selection by moving them again. Some items may be used more than once. You can clear all your selections by clicking Reset. Hot area question types provide a way for you to answer questions in a graphical form. To answer a hot area question, click the correct choice or choices on the graphic. To start over, click Reset to clear all your selections. To answer a multiple choice single correct question, read the question carefully. Read the answer choices and click the correct answer. You can change your choice by clicking another choice. To answer a multiple choice question with multiple correct answers, read the question carefully. A question with multiple correct responses will provide that information to you. You will see, for example, choose two in the question stem. Then read the answer choices and click your choices. You might encounter a series of questions that repeat the answer choices. An answer choice may be correct for more than one question in the series.
Simulation questions measure your computer skills in a realistic environment. The overview screen presents the scenario and provides a description of the tasks you must complete. When you select the simulation button, the environment is launched. The scenario and task description from the overview screen also appear in a box on the right-hand side for your reference. The simulated environment provides restricted access to the technical interface. Only certain operations are made available to answer questions. Use the Reset button if you want to clear your answer and start over. Reset will not restart the entire exam or extend the total allotted exam time. The amount of time you spend on a simulation question does not affect whether or not you earn a point associated with that question. In the short answer exam item type, you will be presented with a situation you can resolve by writing a couple lines of code. Key words are provided for you to use in the code you write. A text entry area is provided for you to write the code. When you're done with the code, you can check the syntax. To answer a best answer multiple choice question, read the question carefully and then look at the possible answers. You will see that more than one answer choice is correct and you need to select the best solution or response for the question.